well, two one victories today. Uh, you must be really happy with that as well. Yeah, really happy. Um, I thought, considering um, when I'm in conditions, I thought the pitch was a very difficult pitch to try and plant today. And uh, to be fair, I thought the boys done excellent out there. So, what Nick just said there, I think there was a lot of eights and nines out there today. Against the team, that are always dangerous. You know, they've, um, they're a good side. I actually like them, I said that in the interview in the week. Um, but I don't think we give their forwards and that much chance. And I thought we defended very well. Um, as I just said to Jazzy, I thought he had a really good game in there as well. Uh, two centre-halves, and Ando looked secure. It was a bit of a shame that we conceded the goal. Otherwise, you know, um, right, he would have come away with a clean sheet. Um, but overall, all round midfield, centre forwards, I thought we really, yeah, and really looked good today and I thought the impact of the substitutions as well um, give us a little bit of uh, pace and a little bit of freshness out there. So, really pleased, I said to him there, the only disappointment I've got is conceding the goal. Um, we don't get them things that happen here today. You know, the, the, the linesman's um, put his flag up for offside, referees give it offside, they've all jumped all over him. And then the referee's gone over, spoke the linesman and overturns it after the linesman's already given it offside. I haven't seen that happen for us, but as anyway, fortunately for us, uh, we didn't give him any lifeline because it was literally with two seconds to go, and it's a shame we haven't kept a clean sheet, which I think we deserved here today. Um, because I don't see where they really, I don't see what Harry's had to do all game. Um, yeah, again, I thought his kicking was excellent, coming to one or two crosses. But overall, listen, I thought Chelsea would see a really good display today. And, uh, yeah, I thought, you know, the likes of Billy Knott and Chesney now really composed, um, got on the ball and uh, made things happen for us. And, um, yeah, that's, that's been important in our last two games. Do you think at half-time that maybe the goal just wouldn't have come after some brilliant chances in doing the one of Billy Knott? Where he was, had an open goal, could have scored, but they often reached up and hit the crossbar. My biggest fear, and I said to half time, is that we should have probably had four or five a game. And it's with us, we create a lot of chances as a team. Um, and it's just that conviction. I mean, you'd have put your life on Billy Knock, just, just rolling it over the line. Um, maybe it weren't on his favoured foot, he's gone for security, give it to Reese, Reese hits the bar. Um, but listen, it was one of them days, and I just said to him, literally, my team talk today was about 30 seconds at half time, just to listen to everything right. But we're not, we're not taking the chances, we're not taking away their belief, and we, we managed to do that once we got the first goal, which I thought was a great execution. Um, great ball by Billy Knott, and great movement by Reese, and he's uh, and he's, 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 he's hit a worldly over strike in the top corner. Um, so, yeah, overall, I, was, I don't think any of my players today would get less than an eight. And I haven't said that for a while. I thought all round we were eights and nines today, and I think that's important. So, you know, it puts us in good stead for talk here on, on Tuesday. But um, I'm just pleased because this is this can be sometimes one of these type of games where you drop points. We've seen it here in Western, we've seen it here in two or three teams where we haven't really put them to bed. But I thought the consistency in both halves today was very, very good. Um, and that's what really was pleasing for me. Sometimes we're a little bit in patches. We let the opposition take the ball and dictate a little bit of the game, but I don't think we did that today. I think we literally, we just kept on top of them and uh, we, we kept cutting them open. So, you know, listen, I think, um, I think they're, you know, probably ought to be honest enough to say that a win was a fair result for us and probably, you know, we, we could have had a, a few more than just the two and disappointed to concede. But other than that, really pleased. Now, obviously, going on to Torquay, you've played the same side, same side 11, two games in a row now. Are you confident of the players' fitnesses that they can do another one? Or are you thinking maybe? Well, I think when we had a good spell, um, I think that's 15 unbeaten now. I think when we had our best spell, we were going with a consistent team over the, through the Christmas period. Um, but, you know, looking at that today, we've got to reassess what little niggles there are, we've got to reassess. You know, where we feel that people, can they give us the same performance against our opposition? Um, or can we sort of bring some fresh blood in and freshen it up and cause them a problem that way? So we're just, you know, we're, we're waiting to see what happens over the next sort of 72 hours or whatever. And um, But yeah, at the moment, the boys are playing, they're playing for their shirt. They're, they're all buying into what we're trying to do. And um, it's just so we can get on the coach fit and well on, on Tuesday. And, and come back from Torquay in a position that we've been proud of. Um, that's what I'm looking for as a manager. I think we need to now sort of go there and, and make a real statement. Not, not just because we need the points, but to make a statement. But um, listen, we know it's going to be very difficult. It's, it's probably still a two or three, so I would have thought. Um, bottom line is, listen, we'll we're, we're, we're go to the death. And um, Tuesday's going to be important. 
and then we've got another tough one away at St Albans next week. So um, yeah, that'll be three games in a week, which has been very tough. So, um, but yeah, fingers crossed we can pull out some sort of performance on Tuesday. And uh, you know, who knows? We might be able to do, uh, do ourselves a favour and, and, and make the Tours race a little bit more uh, tasty, but because at, at the moment I think you know. I don't know the results, but I think they're woke in and I think, you know, the likes of Torquay, they both deserve to be there, but, you know, if we've got to go there and do one of them a favour, um, we'll do that. And that's purely, like, because we want to do ourselves a favour and, you know, it's going to be a tough game and one that we can confidently say, well, uh, on our run at the minute, we're going to look forward to. Thank you very much.